Don't miss Cabela's Black Friday weekend sale. Shop for great deals on all your favorite outdoor brands, like $200 off a of Vortex Viper 4 to 16 by 44 rifle scope, 25% off IMI 223 and 5.56 ammo, and $50 off Smith & Wesson Bodyguard pistols. Plus, get a free cooler cart with the purchase of a Cabela's Polar Cap Cooler. See store for details. Find great deals for everything on their wish list. Shop in store or online at cabelas.com. Jimmy Mack is a renowned medical intuitive and spiritual life coach who has taken, completed, and even mastered a variety of healing modalities. After a near-death experience, he was shown and developed a simpler way to create healing and profound changes, now known as My Liquid Fish. He works with clients in person, on the phone, and over Skype worldwide, accessing energetic powers and co-creating changes that you can actually feel. Call in now to reserve your spot on the switchboard. The call-in number is 713-955-0594. Press 1 if you would like to ask Jimmy Mac a question. Enjoy this one hour of profound healing. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy Mack coming to you live, Clearwater, Florida. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm excited about the holiday week coming up, or at least overeating and enjoying yourselves. Some of us colder than others. I have to put on the blanket and three coats if it goes below 70 here in Florida, but hey, that's just me. And uh, I saw a great post on Facebook earlier today. It said Thanksgiving, that time of year when you have everybody gather at the table and especially all the family, and just hope and pray the police aren't called. So I love that. I'm, I'm pausing for laughter here of everyone because who hasn't lived that, right? And uh, with at least uh, some part of family or friends or relatives. Oh, my gosh. So anyway, it's, you know, it's so important to give thanks and thanksgiving for all that we have um, and all the potentiality we know we have. So it's hugely important to do that. Um, I'm not huge on Thanksgiving. I don't walk around and be in praise and gratitude at all times. I'm more of the belief that God is so powerful and all knowing that he or she doesn't require thanks or praise, but it's nice to be in that. And, you know, listen, if you've got a roof over your head and I always say clothes on your back, something to eat and running water and electric, you're actually better off than 51% of the world. Years ago, my wife at the time and the kids, when we all went to South Africa on a safari, and for as long as I can remember driving, I think it was about 40 solid miles. It was shanty town on the left and the right. It was the wildest, uh, most adjunct poverty you've ever seen in your life. No electric, no running water, no nothing. I'm talking about for 40 miles, folks, going down a highway. You had to stop looking at it. You couldn't look at it anymore. You would just weep and tear up. <clears throat> so it was that bad. So, you know, when I think of that, I think, wow, am I thankful? And I have so much uh, to be thankful for. My mother always says we are richly blessed. So with that in mind, we'll get underway here in a second with my special guest. A couple of announcements coming up. We put the finishing touches on the Pet Animal Healing Audio MP3. And gosh, that's been years in the making. And that's going to come out next Wednesday, the 30th of November, just in time for up on, well, I don't know, it's Black Friday, and Purple Friday, who cares what Friday, but certainly that next Wednesday, uh, that's coming out. And that's an audio MP3 all about pet and animal healing. And with that, too, you get actually a printout of all the word tracks and things that uh, I even say. And if you kind of hang out on speakerphone, it doesn't matter if it's your pet gerbil or your giraffe, you can actually experience some profound healings for them. So. It should be uh, mystical, magical fun. We also just approved the front cover for my new book, probably coming out after the first of the year. We'll see. 
A through Z healing. And that's where you'd actually look up things like allergies or Alzheimer's or gout or whatever you have. And it's going to have a negative statement in there that you want to clear positive statements, maybe some suggestions on nutritional vitamin support, or at least some things you might want to research. So that's pretty exciting too. And that's been, oh my gosh, years and years in the making. So, you know, we kind of germinate over here at the house of Jimmy Mack healing and nothing happens overnight. It takes years to come up with some of this stuff and we'll work on a project for a while and then let it rest for a month or two and then keep going. So I like to liken it to fine wine and fine cheese. So that's probably the best uh, analogy someone gave me the other day. I thought that was sweet and very endearing. So if you haven't already gotten on the mail list, you need to uh, email us at info, I-N-F-O, the symbol at jimmymachealing.com, J-I-M-Y-M-A-C-K, healing.com. Uh, every Wednesday, we send out a TGI Wednesday. It's all free. And it has in there a lot of uh, different things that will empower you and change your life. There are audios, there's videos, there's radio shows. And even on these replays, you will get an effect out of that. If we work on somebody today on allergies or gout or stomach issues and you go, hey, that's what I have. All you need to do is be in that quiet place and listen to that and feel that clearing. And you might be pleasantly surprised and shocked at the progress you will make and or things will happen after that. Maybe you find the ideal doctor, you find the ideal medication, the ideal, you know, roots and berries, whatever it takes. Um, to end up feeling better. And that's what this is all about. And that's why we give it all away. So love it. And, uh, you know, there's a lot going on for the holidays, of course. It's all exciting uh, if you sign up for that. Also, on the replays, it's jimmymachealing.com forward slash interviews. So if you want to catch last week or the week before, you find something on there that's exciting, uh, you can click on that as well. It's got the names of each guest. And when I do shows, it's primarily about the guests and what they got going on. Uh, I'll always have astrological people on here, numerology, intuitives, healers, all that, and we woo world with us. So, you know, you'll find it interesting every week. I got I got to make it interesting for me. So there you go. Uh, next week we have Sarah Nash. She's a very well-renowned uh, intuitive and uh, just exciting psychic to have on the show and that's next tuesday 12 noon again next wednesday will be the animal pet healing audio mp3 coming out if you need more information on that email me info at jimmymachealing.com and yes i do work on animals worldwide people places things pets and situations uh, we do in person in the clearwater tampa bay area we do phone and uh, also skype worldwide so reach out if I can help y'all in any way. Uh, that's what I'm all about. It's what I'm inspired to do and on fire to do and just excited about doing. And uh, and speaking of excited, excited about my guest today. She is our producer and dear friend and just kind of the sweet mama of the crazy den that we are, uh, the den mother that keeps it all together. That's the way I would look at her as. This woman is... Uh, Spectacular in her own right, has about a dozen other folks, over a dozen other folks just like me, that have their own healing shows and various uh, intuitive programs. Uh, it's Reverend Tiffany, white sage woman, and she's a multi dimensional healer uh, with the Ascension Guides. She's an ordained spiritual interdenominational minister, divine channel, psychic medium, holistic health practitioner. And she's a, really a natural born healer just the personal experiences and everything else that's gone on and exploration. Uh, she trained and certified like me in a lot of different modalities. And it's really an ongoing process, folks. And it always is for me, too. I learn something every day just by working with people. So, And she's out of Connecticut and has clients uh, worldwide. Uh, Goldilocks Productions is her and the subdivision uh, of Goldilocks Temple of Healing. So she produces radio and TV shows for holistic professionals. I highly recommend her. She even does some website work only for people like us. So you can find her at White Sage Woman, W-H-I-T-E, Sage, S-A-G-E, woman.com. So reach out to her. Spirit moves you to do so. Welcome to the show, Reverend Tiffany. How are you today? 
Hello, Jimmy, and welcome, um, everyone, to the show, and thank you so much for having me as your special guest. I'm I'm honored. <laughs> we always have fun. You and I could talk for three hours no matter what goes on, so <laughs> tell folks, tell folks exactly. more about you and what's going on and what's happening and some of your offerings. I know you have a private practice like me, but you also have a lot going on with uh, radio shows and a TV show and oh my gosh. And so, you know, even some gardening in between all that, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, we're not doing much gardening now because we actually right. uh, had some dusting of snow yesterday and it's really cold now. So <laughs> there's not much um, outdoor gardening, but I do have yeah. a lot of plants uh, indoors um, that, that keeps me, um, I was saying through the winter time, <laughs> but it, you know when I and you feel like you need to put your hands in the dirt. I have the indoor plants to do that, and that's okay. very grounding for me. Um, as anyone who gardens okay. will tell you, you know, you can't wait to get outside. Well, you know, to help to help them that process during the winter time, I have the indoor plants, huge pots, so that it you know it makes it really easy to stick Love your it. hands in it, and um, have indoor fairy gardens. Yeah, a lot of fun. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Love it. Well, tell folks a little bit about what you did. I'm teasing about that with the cold coming on, but uh, up there, of course, uh, here you could just about garden all year, you know, how that goes. But uh, tell folks oh, how you work and operate and a little bit more about what people would expect should they book you for a session and healing and what you'd like to work on, that sort of thing. Okay, sure. Yeah, well, I do. Um, you know, first and foremost, I always considered myself a healer, um, and I had to, in the last five, six years, really um, embrace the psychic medium abilities uh, because, you know, I used to, like with everyone, I think, it was like, oh, my gosh, the word psychic made me draw back, made me think mm -hmm. about, you know, um, and in, um, it's not nothing bad against gypsies, but you like some gypsy person that's just going to try to take your money, you know, that kind of thing. And I was like, well, you know what? If I'm thinking that, isn't everyone else thinking it? And my guys were like, we need to heal the word. Heal it. Heal it. Right. And um, that most of the mediums now also do incorporate, you know, healing practices. And so it, it really is one. Um, and because mm -hmm. when you're in a healing session, you get messages for people. And this, this, the same thing, I feel like a, a reading should be a healing as well. You should walk away feeling, feeling good, not, you know, confused and kind of like, what just happened? Right. Uh, you know, so I do offer, um, all sorts of, you know, the healing and, um, and, Second medium readings, whether it's it's online, like with you, it's it's worldwide. You can do phone, I can do Skype. You know, now technology makes it so easy for us to reach out to everybody or for everyone to reach out to us, you should say. Because we are we're the lighthouses. We don't go searching for people. Um we we let God create a universe bring people to us. Those who who need Love us, it. they know how to find us. Yeah, I love exactly. that. That's so and well so, spoken. I, I I so resonate with that. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yes, absolutely. And so, and, and it, it's just vibration, um, attracting like vibration. And uh, so it is. It, it I don't chase people, and it could be. This is interesting too. All right. Yes, we we know self promotion. We got to promote, and that was hard for me at first. You know, Jimmy. I know, like you can understand this too. Talking about ourselves and promoting ourselves felt weird, felt really strange, you know, <laughs> but it was like, wait a minute, it's not really me on the conduit, it's coming through me. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, okay, that makes it a little bit easier, uh, you know, so right. um, then, yeah, yeah, so then you, you attract the people, and I don't even, I don't have to promote, and it always seems, you know, people are contacting me. And it's yeah. uh, because I, then there you go. For those who who don't understand or maybe, you know, there's it's always going on behind the scenes. Always, always. Energy is always moving, always going, doesn't rest. And so um, 
manifestation always just happens on a daily basis. And I like what you said. Thanksgiving is, is, is a daily, daily event. Gratitude, you know, um, and I agree with you too. There's so many people uh, in this world who do not have the things that we have. And so mm-hmm. it's, I'm just grateful every morning I wake up when my dogs kiss my face saying it's time to get up. <laughs> you know? right. uh, and I open my eyes with dogs in my face. I'm grateful that, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> we have a roof over our head. That the dogs are on the bed with me waking me up. That, um, That's right. And, and that we're warm, you know, that kind of thing. And, and it's yeah. great to give gratitude all the time. As I feed them, I'm I'm blessing because that's what you know um, a blessing is is being grateful. That's mm-hmm. what a healing is is being grateful. Really, it's it's gratitude is so powerful, and when we mm-hmm. take that time to be grateful over every thing, get in the shower, be grateful for the water. How many people yeah. don't have running water? Even to take a shower, they consider that a waste of water. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, so it, it's. Be grateful for everything and, and push that gratitude out. And we have to be careful because we can very much, we're very empathic and we can have this, this great empathy for people. When you start to think about those that don't have things, don't feel sad. Let's spread that gratitude and love so that they have it as well. I agree. And, I agree. Well, that yeah, is we have to work for. Oh, yeah, for many years, my mother and I. For many years, my mother and I would go to the local Episcopal church here, and we'd help handing out the bags, you know, and putting the bags together for folks that had absolutely nothing. And so that was years and years and years of doing that. And you know, they have a really great system for their share program for giving out to the needy. And boy, <clears throat> you know, I always say it's the little things. So if I watch my mm-hmm. son crazy show tonight or you know enjoy a really hot soaking bath or that favorite dessert or whatever it is it's like ooh, i'm like a little five-year-old kid i'm so excited you know and so Mm -hmm. it's tough not to lose that over decades of being hardened by the world and politics and religion and you know society and what they might hold dear or love or hate and they want to tell us what to love or hate. And so that's a rough road. But if you'll drop back, I find in simplicity and being thankful for those little things, like you said, just that we have heat. It's like, oh, my gosh, it's so yummy. You know, so the more mm-hmm. people can do that, I find that easier. And when people have very complex issues or problems, maybe medical you know, issues, that sort of thing. They might have five or 10 things going on. The simpler you can get, the better. There isn't a day that goes by. People don't say to me, Jimmy, what about the words? I don't know what to say. And I always tell them the same thing. Go really simple. You know, I'm in pain. I have inflammation. It hurts here, you know, whatever it may be. And let's work on clearing that out. So, yeah, love it. Well said. Tell people how to get a hold of you. And gosh, if they, if they wanted a radio show, um, what they would do or a TV show, that sort of thing. You even do some website work, I know, and, you know, you are really immersed into woo-woo land, but tell folks how to get a hold of you and a little bit of how that works. <laughs> so the best way to contact me is through my website, um, okay. and that's, that's the best way. And that's the whitestagewoman.com. Um, I'm notified immediately. So, of course, I'm on the computer. I'm on the computers a lot during the day. Um, but even then, though, I, I am up. I make sure I stretch, get exercises. And like I said before, they, I have dogs that's going to let me know it's time to take a break. So uh, it's nice to get outside with them and and have that reconnection to remind me, of, you know. And it's, this is – I couldn't – I always had a hard time. I think many of us do. Um, have a hard time sitting in a regular nine-to-five job. I always had a hard time with it. Um, And especially if there wasn't any windows, if if I couldn't connect with nature, you know. um, And I think one of my last jobs was you were customer service via the computer. You were stuck there. And that didn't last long because I was like, nope, nope, no. (laughs) I can't do this. Right. (laughs) And I won't do this because I love myself too much. 
And, right. <laughs> and then just to step into and then to realize it. And it's not people that were lazy. It's we know that we, we get we get antsy because we know that we're here to do something more, to do something more than mm-hmm. just that. More than to make some company rich, you know, <laughs> to make right. some company money. Well, um, yeah, and to add, and to add to that, and, and you're you're spot on. And to add to that, you know, a, a lot of it's just like if you ever read the Dilbert cartoons, man, is that what that's like? And for those of us that have done it, you know, um, and and I got news for you, folks. If you roll over, if you die face down on that in that cubicle on your keyboard, they're gonna go. Hey, did you hear about Mary Jones? That was really sad. Who's replacing her tomorrow? You know, um, that's how fast Thanks, that's going to go. So if you are stuck in that, though, folks, realize I'm not in any way sliding it or putting it down, but you really need to come to terms with that's what you do. That's not who you are. And I think that's vital that you come to terms with that. That might be something you do, and whether you enjoy it or don't enjoy it, work on enjoying it and laughing about it and finding the absurdity in all of it and make that money to keep the lights on, the heat on, the water running and the car running and all that. But then your life needs to be artificial stop when that ends and get out of there and enjoy the wife, the kids, the husband, the camping, the whatever it is you do. It's hugely outside of that place. So, yeah, love it. That's so such a a, a on-point thing. Yeah, and, and I grew up watching my mom um, be sick. I grew up in, in, in pretty much like a sick environment. Um, mm-hmm. The home was sick. My mom had cancer three times, watched through that whole ordeal. Um, and then even on top of that, her dad, my grandfather, had a stroke. We, we moved him in. And so the house always felt and I knew that I was doing my energies and, you know, that I was cleansing and clearing in my own way um, that mm-hmm. I could understand it as a, as a teenager. And um, it was, okay, let, let's just do all this cleansing. But, you know, what makes you, you can literally make yourself sick when you force yourself to stay in an unhealthy situation. And like we mm-hmm. were talking about jobs here. And, and there you go. What's the trigger for your inflammation? Why are you feeling mm-hmm. this way? Um, there's mm-hmm. always a trigger. There's always a source. There's a reason why. Um, I watched my mom activate. Yes, and I'm saying activate the cancer in her when I was eight years old. Um, oh, wow. I saw, the energy, I saw the energy outside her. I saw it in her aura at first. It was like this black mass, and it kept mm-hmm. getting bigger. Um, her and my dad got, went through a nasty divorce when I was young and then it went through her being a single mom and in the seventies, that was hard. There was a lot of prejudice against women still in that time Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. her being a single Mm -hmm. mom, I mean, just even having, uh, find a place to rent without a man there. Uh, people think you know, don't realize, but um, that's in the 70s, that was still the mindset. Uh, so she had a lot of things I know felt like stacked against her and just watched her, mm-hmm. watched this black man move from her aura and enter her body. And that was wow. the activation. And, and so it was, uh oh. And I was always trying to cut up and laugh and try to get her to laugh because when she laughed, you know, that blackness kind of thinned out a little bit in her aura, but it, it didn't mm-hmm. last long. And so if mm-hmm. we could see our own energy, and if we could see this happening, uh, I do believe that we would probably be a, be a lot more focused on, you know what, what makes me truly happy at not falling mm-hmm. into this whatever's going to make me sick or ill. And so, yeah, I understand. I know you've been there. Well, I've been there with, with the job and, and you get, mm-hmm. you get what happens. You get into the routine of how much money's coming in, the bills that you pay and all of that. But when, when it, I, and, and I was guilty of that until I, I remember what happened with my mom and I said, no. And I started to have stomach pain. I knew exactly what was going on. I was like, Oh, no, 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 no. Nothing is worth mm-hmm. my health. I'm out of here. 
I'll be fine. <laughs> so right. you tighten the belt a little bit, so to speak, you know, and um, and, and I'm, I'm fine. You know, you would get through it. And here's the thing is that it's so material-based, too. How many things do we really need? <laughs> right. You know, make the TV, commercial. Really. Right. And this time of the year, right? My son's even asked mm-hmm. me, Mom, what would you get him on Christmas? I was like, I don't need not one more Wachowski. I don't need one more decoration. I don't need anything material. Mm-hmm. Just having the family together. It, it means yeah. I love that. I tell yeah. I tell my sons and daughter in laws the same thing. Don't y'all dare buy me anything. I'll just return it because if I want something, I've got money and I'll order it online, have it brought to this house, you know, and uh, send me something. Exactly. Send me pictures of the kids, the grandkids. Have send pics, send finger paintings. You know, I'll frame those. You know, yes. send me something that has meaning oh, that's yes. creative. You know, so. Exactly. Yep. Totally yeah, I feel the same way too. And it's it. like, 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 we grew up with my husband and I not going crazy with each other on, on birthdays and holidays because if we need something during the year, we, we get it, you know, and, and that's it. But we don't need, you know, you know, look how big houses are now um, to hold mm-hmm. what your stuff. And then you're going right. through and cleaning it out, hopefully, every six months to a year of getting rid of the stuff that you don't want or need anymore. Um, but I am mm-hmm. finding, though, that the last couple of years uh, that there, those, the small houses are really popular now. People living in trailers, people really downsizing. Um, I think it's great that people realize that you know, we don't need to have all these material possessions. And where do they go? If you don't donate them to you know, the, the gently used items, if you just throw stuff away, where does it end up? We stop to think about uh-huh. that, what we're doing to the earth. Um, is anything fixable? How about fixing it and, instead of just, uh-huh. just throwing it away? And it, it's... Yeah. Uh, well, you know what they say, it's like, uh, you know, one man's junk is the other man's treasure. So, yeah. And I laughed the other day. I oh, saw a great yeah. picture on Facebook and it was, you know, people just about busting in the department store doors. And it said only in America will we be thankful on Thanksgiving and nearly kill each other, you know, on Black Friday for a big screen TV. So, um, well, I know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, this just doesn't make sense. At all. <laughs> you know. uh, incredible. Hey, well, let's take a little break and take a caller. Uh, 818 area code is Carolyn. Uh, Carolyn, where are you calling from? Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm calling from California, Carson, California. Okay. Awesome. Hi. What's going on? Well, well what I, was, I wanted to ask both of you was, uh, do you think I have not? Epilepsy. I keep falling asleep during the day. Uh, just sitting, uh, writing, reading, eating, uh, driving. Uh, I know I'm not getting always get enough sleep, and so I'm trying mm-hmm. to, you know, either go to bed later. I'm just, you know, trying to figure out what to do. Um, you know, how to get enough sleep. I'm waking okay. up at three o'clock, four o'clock, and then, uh, you know, if I get up and do anything. I might go back to sleep. Um, even if I go back to sleep around nine or ten, I fall asleep. And mm-hmm. so, uh, if I'm sleepy when I plan to leave the house, I won't go anywhere. I don't know when I'm gonna fall asleep. Mm. Well, I'll let you. I'll let Reverend Tiffany take a run at it, and then I'll I'll play clean up. How about that, honey? Okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds good. All right, so Carol and Sweetheart, um, it's it, there, there's a lot of, of energies, and you are very open. You're a very powerful healer yourself, and all these energies are, are coming around um, and coming through each and every one of us. It's coming through us, and it's I'm people are coming to me with the same very issue too of whether they're either tired or they're hyper, or and it's okay. If you need to take a nap, take a nap, but don't stay there all day, you know. Um, okay. And when you get outside and get fresh air, <laughs> your fresh air can even make you sleepy, too. <laughs> you know, so it's, as long as you're not 
falling asleep if you're driving, then that's something that that does need to be addressed. I'd go to the doctor for that. Uh, but if you can't stay awake with something that really needs your attention, but I'm not feeling that it is, that it is anything major uh, that that you need. Let's um, take in a little bit more antioxidants, all right? And like vitamin Bs, you really need uh, vitamin C as well. But you need those types of things in your body to to give you the energy that that you need. But if I tell everyone, be gentle with yourself. If you need a little nap during the day, take a nap. Most of us do wake up. I've always worked up between 2 and 5 in the morning. And it's, it's not going to go away. It's who we are. We feel the energy shifts, and, and it wakes us up. Um, and it's, we, you, can feel, you can feel your loved ones around you. You can feel your angels. You can feel your guides. Every little thing. Um, and, it, it, and parents. Um, I think women that, you know, that connection, I've always, after having kids, it's one ear open. No, and they're out of the house and I'm still doing this. It's still, you know, what we have, uh, tuned ourselves to. Um, so you hear the littlest thing, even though you're in getting a good sleep, you're still connected yeah. to the rest of the, what's going on around you. <laughs> and, it, and as soon as you feel a shift, you bring it up. You know, um, so just I would do that. There's a lot of even like um, yeah, a lot of health food stores now or, or, or a lot of grocery stores are choosing the healthy way to go. And uh, there's powerful antioxidant drink, drinks that you can, like like the palm, the palm drinks. Um, I would just make sure that I'm get, you're get, getting enough antioxidants. That, and what the antioxidants does is, is that it helps to – put oxygen in all your cells for you. It really helps you. Um, and when you do that, when you have the, the oxygen in all through your body and on a cellular level, it, it gives you energy and it helps keep you awake a little bit longer. Um, deep breathing then, I would also, the guys are also saying deep breathing. So there, I mean, right from your stomach, do some deep inhale, exhale, um, you know, when you start to feel like you're going to fall, drink some water, put some lemon juice okay. in it, some fresh lemon juice, and, and take deep breaths and go through that. And if you still feel tired, then take a nap. But usually after deep breathing like that and then you just drink some water, it can keep you, it'll keep you awake. Oh, okay. Okay, that's helpful. Okay. I didn't know what All I right. can do. Yeah, you want to stand up or wrap some stuff out, Carolyn? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know her? I know you, you've called before. If you just say, my name is Carolyn, it's going to pull you forward for yes. My name is Carolyn, yes. Okay. And my name is Nemo the Fish. It'll pull you backwards. My name is Nemo the Fish. Yes, I'm going back. Nice. And I don't get that you have narcolepsy at all. You can own it and say it right now. I have narcolepsy. It's going to pull you back to no. I have narcolepsy. I can't pronounce it. Okay, it, it said no. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm just telling you ahead of time what they're whispering in my ear, so I don't get that you have that per se. Uh, I will tell you that they've done sleep studies in Europe, and really what they will do is have you almost in deprivation for at least 24, 36 hours kind of thing. You can imagine how much you'd sleep after that. They'll wake you up every hour on the hour, and you won't get any sleep, and then you'll hit levels of sleep that are super deep. So sleep is all about routine. So I'll just say for you right now while you're standing there, it is safe and comfortable to sleep, and we'll see if we go forward, back, or in between. Okay. It is safe and, and safe and what, uh, Gemini? Comfortable. It is safe, safe and sleep. comfortable to sleep. It's, it's safe and comfortable for me to sleep. I'm going for it. Yeah. So we'll leave that, okay? So I get that sleep is a pattern for you. Um, and let's just say the other deeper one they want to go to is it's safe and comfortable to get enough sleep. And we'll see if you go forward, back, or in between on that. It is safe and comfortable to get enough sleep for this body. It is safe and comfortable to get enough sleep for this body. Okay, I went for it. Good. So you already lined up for it, and Reverend Tiffany had 
some great advice and apropos things that you want to look into, the antioxidants, those sorts of things, being more energized. Um, I bet you a million dollars you aren't exercising or aren't exercising enough. So you really need to look into that. If you're feeling tired uh, or even blow off, maybe taking a nap and exercise. But sleep is all about patterns. So whatever time you want to go to sleep at night, doesn't matter if it's 10 or midnight. Um, and then you get up the same time every day, even on the weekends. So we, I find that we as humans remember our sleep the best. So if we get up at five in the morning, go to the bathroom, we go back to sleep from then to eight or nine or something is like heaven, you know, and we think somehow that's the delicious sleep. And, you know, little do you know, you've slept the whole time and I wouldn't get up if you're not sleeping well midnight to say eight and I'm just throwing abstract times at you. So yeah. if you can't sleep, I would not get up and do anything. I'd still lay there and rest that body. But you might find if you get more into a routine, that'll help you the most. You want to go to bed at the same time every night. Uh, also, Epsom salts baths would help you or using Epsom salts all over your body and taking a shower would help you. Super hot water, jacuzzi, hot tub, that sort of thing. Um, that would really relax your muscles and you'd sleep deeper. And then you wouldn't fall asleep during the daytime. Does that make sense? Well, that makes a lot of sense because uh, yeah. sometimes I dream. I dream about sleeping, and I smile. <laughs> okay, That's all funny. this is uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> if he dreams I'll, about I'll, sleeping. That's, that is wild, isn't it? So very cool. Yeah, and so it feels like you're chasing it when you even say that. That's what they're showing me: is you chasing sleep. So you feel. Um, as if your sleep is un insatiable. So let's check that. My sleep is insatiable. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, my sleep is insatiable. Yep. I went forward. Yeah. So I'm going to release that. That means you can never be satiated or never get enough sleep. So it's going to pull you backwards when it leaves. I'm just deleting all that off of you. It's, I'm backwards. It's throwing me back. Yeah. Yeah. That's us changing it. Isn't that fun? There you go. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Thanks. So that's going to help you, okay? Because I want you to be at that point where, hey, it's, you're capable of getting enough sleep. Because right now, in your kind of little dials and turns and buttons, if you will, it was like you're yeah. geared towards you could, you're chasing sleep. Does that make sense? Oh, yes, it does. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. Too. So it's changed now. I hope and pray you're. Sleep will be different, but like I said, you really want to pattern your sleep. Go to bed at the same time every night, have some real routines, get up at the same time every day. I might avoid okay. naps for the next, at least the rest of the year until you get this thing balanced out. Okay? Okay. Yes. I'm trying to uh, not uh, take naps during the day. I want to, you know, I want to sleep at night. Okay. You'll sleep well, much okay. better at night if you don't nap during the day. If you do, I'd make it like... 20, 30 minutes, and then get up and do something, and that's okay. But to lay there all afternoon, you definitely won't sleep at night. I'm just letting you know. So if you feel tired, you want to get up off the couch and start exercising and at least walk around the block, okay? Okay. Thank you, awesome. uh, Tiffany. And, and oh, yeah, we appreciate it. Uh, I missed uh, Tiffany's number. Could I have the number? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Reverend Tiffany, you want to give her your... Website information and phone number? Sure. Um, the website is whitesagewoman.com. But you can, I'm going to give my phone number out, but please just text me because I use the phone for running shows and for my own appointments. So the best way, if you want to text me, the number is 860-326-9178. Thank you. I will not call you. I will text you. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So when you all, when you text me, please put your name. Say who it is. You know, so I'll know. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank Appreciate you. you calling in. Have a great Thanksgiving. Okay. You too. You okay. bet. Thanks. Bye-bye. 561 is our next caller. Area code 561. Uh, it sounds like Palm Beach. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Laura. Hey, Laura. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? I'm great, thank you. 
Where are you calling from? Good. I'm calling from Jupiter. Oh, Jupiter. Okay. <clears throat> it's Burt Reynolds land. Okay. Right. Got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're on the other coast. I'm Clearwater, St. Pete, Tampa. So you're, a, you're a Florida oh, girl. Okay. Cool. Uh-huh. You have a question for uh, Reverend Tiffany? Is there something we can help you with? Body, mind, spirit, relationships, money. What's going on, honey? Yeah, um, regarding relationships, I'd really like to have a family of my own, and I'm just wondering if you see that coming up for me. Okay. Um, a family of your own. Okay. Now, now I just want to tell everybody, when we say this to the guys, they get confused. <laughs> because they're like, okay. but we're all connected. You do have a family. We don't understand. Well, what are you asking? You know, um, we have more family around us than we realize. So it makes me laugh just to see how we have really separated and kind of just, you know, uh, with the way that we are. But uh, they do understand, too, okay, relationship-wise, your own little um, immediate family. All right. So the thing is that, yes, you can. Um, a, a lot of this longing, though, comes from a, a past life that you 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 did come from big, big, big families, uh, and you had big families. And in this life, is is different. And, of course, you want to choose something different. Uh, for that experience, but there's that longing. The, the longing is old and anxious. This is this is that feeling. This is that energy. All right. And um, so let's ask. You know, are you? Let's let you don't have to answer me. But just where is this really coming from? This longing. Is it something that you really want in this life, or is it a memory? And it's okay if you still want that now. And to surround yourself with, with family-like people, does that mean that you're not going to have your own family? You will, um, and but it, it's not that it's going to happen. I feel like within the next, what are the guys saying here, in the next year or two, because you have a lot of work to do yourself, and I'm talking about um, community. You're, you are a big mentor for everyone around you. And is that not your family then? Everyone that you mentor and that you make a big difference to, um, you don't realize how powerful you are. You don't realize how many people you help on a daily basis. And um, it's so that's what's really powerful and needing right now. Yes, you will have, I feel like you'll meet somebody that's going to have children. Um, and but but you're okay. But you have a huge heart, and you're going to be all right with that. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I think about two two kids maybe that's coming in so far. Um, and again, this can can change because there's several options. There's like several men. It, you're going to feel like you're going through a huge dry period, and then all of a sudden, bam! There's like two or three men that's going to step into your life, and you're going to be like, whoa, what's going on? Just take your time, have fun, um, and definitely go with that that intuition. Go listen to your gut feeling, to the intuition. Don't go with what looks good. All right, um, you got to close your eyes, look beyond that picture, and and you'll make the right choices. Okay, so you don't see that happening for a couple of years. Is that right? A year or two, um, you may meet some of that. I see that you're going to really go on some dates here, and um, it's going to pick up. It's what your dating is going to pick up in about a year. And then from that time frame of a year to two years is where you're going to, to meet the, the perfect reflection of your soul. Okay. And do you see me getting married? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You're going to be married. Oh, okay. So what the, what the guys want you to know is make sure that you're falling in love with, with the person, which, which is not going to be hard because there's going to be like an instant connection between you two. But don't fall in love with love. You know, some people want to fall in love because they're so in love with that idea. And, and you're a very yep. romantic woman. You know, and and because that will disappoint you each and every time when people don't live up to your expectations. So 
this is why they want you to take this time, keep keep being the love and light that you are for others. And what's going to happen during this time is that it's making sure that you have the perfect match for you that's going to come in. And you know it's going to be genuine and real. But the warning is that because you're going to have so many coming at you, uh, you know, you're going to be like, wow, who to choose? You're like, it's a box of chocolates. <laughs> Which one am I going to pick here? Uh, don't right. don't go by the, the pretty package. Don't go by, oh, he, he dresses really nice. He's in a suit. He's got this job and this and that. Don't fall for the illusion, all right? Don't fall mm-hmm. for this would make a great family. Um, what, I want you, what you need to do is to feel that this person feels perfect. doesn't matter about the looks or what the person has or anything like that, all right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, and you're, you're going to make the right you choice. The, uh, but you think the one that I, that that's right for me has two kids? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. And is there anything else you can tell me about him? No, because there's, it's a, because of free will and the choice and because there's other options, mm-hmm. there's other options. You mm-hmm. could choose somebody else. That's why he's not totally into focus yet. He's still blurry, and so are the other ones. Uh, but it just shows mm-hmm. options that are available, roads that you could take. Um, it will get uh, more focused and fine-tuned uh, six months from now. You know, get another reading, ask the same, you know, same thing. And then six months after I that, see. you'll see that okay. it's going to start to get more into focus and more, you know, because it's a, I'm not here to tell you what to do other than to follow your own heart, follow your intuition. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank okay. You. Yeah, and I would, I would chime in and just say you, oh, we all have, um, you know, positionality and opinion. So your position is going to be completely different than mine. I would tell everybody my three-year marriage was the best three months of my life. So Tiffany knows what I'm saying. Um, you know, yeah. and so... <laughs> You know, we get along great now. We went through World War III getting divorced. But we have gorgeous sons and gorgeous daughter-in-laws and gorgeous grandbabies. And now we can just laugh and just carry on. But I thank my lucky stars. I'm not still married to her, but I love her. But I wouldn't want to still be married to her. So a lot of times we'll interact with these people or we come together. And I do get that you have a longing of about four lifetimes ago and that's really what it is almost like you're you watched your family be plucked away from you or taken away from you so that's this artificial longing if you will for this lifetime to have a quote-unquote family i get that it's going to be more like three years just throwing that out there doesn't mean we can't work on it you know coming in to focus faster but it's going to be about three years and it's a man who already has daughters. He has two daughters, and I want to say they're, you know, they're tweens or teenagers already. So as far as that goes, that's what I see as one of many options for you in this lifetime. But I would be less hung up on got to get married and have some perfect 2.2 house with this exacting thing and be more open to the universe and spirit. And if you do that, you might be surprised what shows up. I see women morning, noon, and night, you know, in person, phone and Skype sessions all over the world. And, you know, they'll go, oh, Jimmy, he's got to be six feet tall and drive a Corvette and he's got to be a lawyer and he's got to be, it's like, oh my God, shut up, right? It's like, no, you want, he's responsible. He's available mentally, physically, spiritually. He is available emotionally for me. You know, he's stable. He's employed. I mean, you want to go with traits of trust, respect, and love, and you're in harmony with that person. You're finishing each other's sentences like kids you know that's where you want to be you you just Mm -hmm. don't want to work that hard for anything or have some idyllic you know um idyllic really idea of what you think family should be because then you're just setting yourself up for disappointment so i find the more we're open to all possibility the higher the probability is that more good stuff will come in does that help i hope yeah it does it does very much Mm -hmm. And that's what I see right now if I'm asking my folks uh, what's going to happen for you. You want to stand up and feel the energy? We'll at least change some things for you. Any nicknames? What does everybody call you? Uh, Laura. Laura. Okay. So you want to face to you north. You want your feet about hip width apart. That's a strong mountain pose in yoga. It's going to feel like somebody's pulling you forward for yes and pushing you backwards for no. You can just say, my name is Laura, and you'll feel the pull forward. 
And if you say, my name is Dory the fish, it'll feel the pull backwards. My name is Dory the fish. And you feel it drift back? No. Okay. You felt the you felt the pull going forward on your name? Not really, no. Okay. So it feels like your energy is reversed right now when I'm in it. And that is kind of like everybody's got a sunflower up by their head and the roots are down by their feet. And it feels as if your energy is reversed. So I'm going to change that around real quick so you can feel it. And here we go. Have our energy run direct is no. Change it to yes, please. Here we go. All right. And you don't want to lock your knees. Again, it's strong mountain pose. You want your feet about hip width apart. And if you tilt yourself forward a little bit and then pull yourself back so you at least have that imprint of the muscle memory of that, okay? And then you bring yourself back for neutral. And if you say again, my name is Laura, it should pull you forward for yes. My name is Laura. And you feel a drift forward? Not really, no. Okay. Now let's go backwards. My name is Dory the fish. My name is Dory the fish. And you should feel a drift backwards just even by an inch or so. Do you feel the sensation? Not really, no. Okay. So a lot of a lot of times if people are dehydrated and their energy is reversed, you'll find that mm -hmm. you're not going to move at all or not that much. If you were standing in my living room, I'd, okay. yeah, I'd be pulling you around the living room. The other time that people right. don't move is on any kind of psychotropics at all. So if you're on any kind of prescriptions, that can interfere too, just so you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm just throwing it out there. But regardless, we're just going to change things and ask for the highest and best to come to you. And I'm just seeing that as happening right now. And I'm just changing some things to make things better for you, okay? Doesn't mean, you know, yeah, of course, and don't, don't let us scare you by it's two or three years out. That can change in a heartbeat. You could meet okay. the man of your dreams at some holiday party this year. Um, but I would okay. still be in a place where, you know, I don't want to um, kind of force the idea of family upon my life, okay? Because if you if you think you're longing right now or having a longing experience or loneliness or sadness right now, you can't imagine what it would be like to have a horrible marriage and bratty kids running around. Oh, my God, that's the worst. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's not what, that's what we don't want. And so the silent right. prayer of what we don't want, we don't want that to show up either. So even if you have a right. great guy that you date and have fun with between now and those three years, and then you meet, oh, my God, and he's got two teenage daughters, you're going to know. So that's kind of interesting. Okay. And, again, that's a probability. That's a potentiality of what can happen. That's what I see for you. Um, but you could always say no to that, too. It's up to you, you know. So um, family. Someone that yeah, I don't, yet. If I ask right now, is it someone she already knows? No, you might be dating. You might end up dating somebody you already know for the end of the year, and that's okay, or going out with. But, you know, enjoy dinners, movies. I tell women in general, enjoy the dinners and the movies and going out more than, you know, where is this relationship going? You know, don't, don't put a white picket fence around everything, you know. So okay. you'll have a lot more fun, be a lot less disappointed if you – or dating somebody between now and the next three years, and then you meet, oh, my God, and he's got two teenage daughters, you're going to remember that we said this today. So <clears throat> just kind of interesting. And, again, that's your probability. That could happen. And you can always say no to that, too, and go, yeah, you know what? I've personally grown and changed since then. I'm not too wild about being the stepmother for two angry teenage girls rolling their eyes in the back of their heads either, you know. So you get what I'm saying. So these things almost look like a tumbleweed rolling through town as they pick up energy and steam. Things change for us and things changed in our environment and in our lives. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you okay. calling in today. We Thank hope we you helped. Very much. Reverend Tiffany yeah. and Jimmy, I appreciate it very, very much. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. And thanks okay. for listening. Have a good day. Awesome. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Reverend Tiffany, don't you find that to be true too? I mean, we have so many beautiful lady clients and, and oftentimes they might put the white picket fence around everything and Jimmy, where's this relationship going? It's like, oh my gosh, please enjoy it and let's not bring it yeah. to any kind of finality right now. You know, you're bound to be disappointed and so many times if they'll say prayers about, oh, he's got to be this and he's got to be that and it's like, well, yeah, and then you end up attracting some married dude, you know, <laughs> it's like, oh, he's everything I wanted. <laughs> He's married. He lives 30 miles away. It's like, come on, you're going to be the other woman. If that makes you happy, oh, well, right? But then that's somebody who isn't fully available for you either. So it's a delicate little right. dance to get them where they really would like to be, you know, and very often we don't know where we like to be. But I find that more in generalities without the specifics, you want to go for more traits than anything else. But, you know, I wonder what you thought on that, oh, too. But that's been my experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and cool. that, and that's what I watched my mom was such a huge romantic, mm-hmm. and that's why the divorce devastated her. Devastated, mm-hmm. okay? Because she mm-hmm. did that. And then I would watch her do this, like, with me, like a second chance. Like, you know, oh, when you get married, and I'm like, please stop, because I'm not even thinking about my marriage. Don't fantasize about my marriage. <laughs> I'm like, no. Right. You know? right. uh, but that, that's how she was. Like, you know, oh, everything Disney princesses and this and that and all. And I'm like, I was such a tomboy. <laughs> and I did not mm-hmm. share the same things. <laughs> but it was just like, you know, no. Um, you know, right. stop, stop right. doing that. Because you do set yourself up for disappointment um, when right. it's not matched with what's in your head, you know. And um, I so, agree. yeah, just just allow things to happen as as they may, and you realize that it's yeah. so much better. Really yeah, and long unfold. Run, really. Right. Yeah. And Louise, yeah. I would say that may be true for others. It's not going to be true for me. So I find that if you romanticize it that much, boy, are you going to be disappointed, you know. So, oh my gosh, yeah. you're just setting yourself up for that crushing defeat. But I hear what you're saying, and it's very well put. Mm-hmm. Gosh, thanks for being on the show today. You always bring so much, and we're just so happy to have you. And, um, you know, on behalf of uh, all the Goldilocks team, too, and everybody, you, you really are, are the den mother that keeps, uh, keeps us all together. My mother would call you the glue that holds us all together, so. We're just uh, we're, we're thrilled with the work that you do and, and everything. You're always on point, on time. You're you follow through. You you know you keep your word. And in that this day and age, that's uh, that's rough. I know I do, and I know you do. So when we come together, it's just a dream. Give folks your website again before we sign off. Sure, absolutely. My website again. You can contact contact me through is whitestagewoman.com. I'm saying sage s a g e white stagewoman.com and for those of you who are in the holistic field and would like to join the family we are a tight net family Goldilocks Productions is and I always every day in giving gratitude for the team that we have always to ask for those that are on the same vibration and have the same energies to be attracted and come on and join our team because we're not about competition. We all have something beautiful and unique to share with each and every one of you. And I hope that you go to the Goldilocks Productions website and see all the wonderful shows, listen to all the wonderful hosts. Everyone, like I said, is different and unique, and you will receive a healing from each show. And the Goldilocks Productions website is Goldilocks, Goldilocks Productions ctforconnecticut.com so please check out all the rest of the shows and just a little note that um, today is going to be the last shows for this week uh, we're taking off for the rest of the week Wednesday through through of course the, the rest of the week because of the Thanksgiving holiday and uh, for those in the United States have a very very happy and blessed Thanksgiving and thank you so much yes. Jimmy Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. And thanks for always being a part and helping and contributing to everyone. And thanks, folks, for tuning in. We appreciate it. Hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving and uh, a great uh, holiday season. And we love you. And thanks for tuning in. We'll help you in any way we can. Reach out anytime. It's jimmymachealing.com. Blessed week and a great rest of the month. Thank you all. Bye-bye.
you've reached the Old Navy Holiday Happy Helpline. Huge news. Old Navy's Black Friday sale just got extended for one more day. That's right. Get 50% off your entire purchase in stores today. It's Old Navy's biggest sale of the year. Get 50% off every gift on your list. But you better hurry. Today's the last day. Hurry in to save 50% off your entire purchase today. Hang up now and run to Old Navy. Valid 1126 in stores only. Excludes clearance, gift cards, register land items, jewelry, and today only deals. You've reached the Old Navy Holiday Happy Helpline. Huge news. Old Navy's Black Friday sale just got extended for one more day. That's right. Get 50% off your entire purchase in stores today. It's Old Navy's biggest sale of the year. Get 50% off every gift on your list. But you better hurry. Today's the last day. Hurry in to save 50% off your entire purchase today. Hang up now and run to Old Navy. Valid 1126 in stores only. Excludes clearance, gift cards, register land items, jewelry, and today only deals.